bleeding edge engineering methods with Apache Bay. Hello everyone. My name is Kanchana Velagedara, member of Apache Software Foundation, seasoned FinTech engineering leader, open source enthusiastic, enterprise architect, and I currently work for a company called Amount LLC, another FinTech, as an engineering manager. Apache Software Foundation, who we are and what do we do? Let's dig in in the detail. The Apache Software Foundation is a nonprofit organization and we are registered under 501C3 charity known as ASF in short form. We are a passionate global community with volunteers, lots of respect for diversity and inclusion well known for Apache HTTP server and well known Apache license. As a community of open source software, we are one of the powerful open source community. Let's look at how powerful we are and the industry influence that we have made with Apache Software Foundation and its software. If you look at the world's wide websites, 80% of them use Apache software. Mobile phone to the space shuttle use Apache software. Whether channel to movie streaming such as Netflix are using Apache software. Finance, healthcare, civil security and legal e-trading search engines Sales as businesses, automobiles, education, internet and things, real estate, and any industry that you can think of has been used Apache software. And we have accommodated wide varieties of software for those industries to use without any cost. And we have make all the resources to use that software in free and manipulate those software the way that they want and gave the full control of it for them at zero cost. How do we do this as a community? The way that we do is the Apache Bay. Let's look into in the details of Apache Bay. How actually do we do this? Listed are some of the Apache Bay values. Openness, what that means. As a community, we handle things openly. The every user can see what we do and every user can learn it and every contributor can see what we do and they can learn it as well and start contributing to that. And as a community, co-developers to the PMC, to the project management level, and to the entire world, we make things available and open. What are these things? The resources of educating the community, accessing different knowledge level of the technology. We have presented documentation so anybody can learn about what is that software is and what it does. And the full source code with the different releases are also available for any user, any contributor, any business, any money-making uh, business, any kind of uh, industry can download and use it, edit and use it. For there, there, there is no such a requirement to like put it back unless if you really wanted to. And we do encourage that as well keep enhancing our software. So our entire uh, software development life, life cycle is accessible by any user, any contributor, as much as the co-developers of that software, uh, co-developers of that software can use it and have used it. Everyone has the same resources to use it all the releases. 
and every software's tracking system, such as how many bugs are indicated um, and all the positive and the negative vibes of the software and the community an analyses. Not only that, all the communications are being handled in a very open way through the mailing list. We have different mailing list setups, such as user community and then developer community and the management community uh, that we attach to that uh, software. Those are separately handled, but still the mail archive can be searchable uh, via the internet and our code repositories are accessible by any type of layer, any type of a user, any type of a contributor. And it's not just a software development, entire software lab, uh, development life cycle can be accessed through the internet. And we do a lot of collaboration. We just start like a bunch of people that we really like a soft uh, uh, one technology stack and they can put a proposal to the Apache Software Foundation and they can just start incubating that. While they're doing that, they can groom another community uh, who could use that or any newcomer that who would like to do the code contribution to the project, they welcome them, they do the mentorship, uh, they, they groom up the community. So they drive to, the, with that engineering collaboration, they don't build any engineering silos with a lot of tech devs and uh, uh, don't create the situation that we cannot move forward with the innovation. So we don't have engineering silos or we don't have uh, tech devs. We know the idea up front and the, we are, we are we, through the collaboration, through people power, through the community power, uh, and we establish the collaboration. While we are doing collaboration, like I mentioned earlier, there could be knowledge gaps on people. I may not have the same knowledge as another engineer who originally started developing the software. So we need, uh, as a community, we need some support to each other and to be able to uh, depend to each other to grow from uh, lack to the, the more uh, standard of knowledge of the software and start contributing to enhance the software and drive through the innovation. And all that happens through a quality mentorship. What that quality mentorship is, as a community, we have a shared ended goal. And as an in, 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 individual contributor or a user, I have my own goal. Why do I contribute to this software? It could be the community drive. It could be the technology. When it comes to the individual, my motivation could be different, but still the quality mentorship would from, from the community will help you achieve your own goal on working on that piece of software. And as in overall, we see the community success by increasing another contributor to our community. And what is the culture look like? We talk about the, these are the Apache way. True that we understand these very practical, very uh, promising, promising values are there as an Apache way. But if you look at a one Apache software, uh, software community, such as let's take Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka community could be different how they operate following these core values, the way that they operate, what works for them could be different from Apache Tomcat. The way that, the, 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 for example, how do they handle the knowledge sharing? Uh, do they do hackathons frequently than um, meetups? Or do they do um, online uh, webinars for others to uh, be knowledgeable about the Kafka? there can be differences and how do they follow the release numbers and those standard that could be different from one community to another. So though we respect these above mentioned Apache way values, there is no one way that as an Apache way because 
based on the core value, each community operate differently. They have figured out the way that it works. Obviously, the meritocracy is one of the, the most important values within Apache Way. Uh, the people who work hard, they deserve. It. We don't care about the, um, we, we don't care about your uh, status or we don't care about how strong you are in one, one area or another. Uh, the work that you do, the credibility that you build within the community, that's what mattered, matter for you to grow up to the ladder of the community. Whatever your work, the quality of your work, yeah, how strong you as a contributor, how you strong as a user, that's what matter as a community. We don't care. We don't know if you're a... Um, if you're from uh, South Asia or from uh, North America or from uh, Europe, we don't know because we communicate through the, the mailing list and we don't really care. So that's the community values that we process. This is a much more interesting topic. We talk about the open, so openness and the collaboration. This is a one slide that I have put very abstract way to understand how do we do all of these together, the openness and the collaboration. You can see this ASF openness via internet-based infrastructure. So our source codes are sitting in, the, in, in our public repository, which is again through the internet. And then the documentation, learning resources, every possible code samples, are on the internet. Anybody can come and download it, use it, um, and improve yourself. Or the build pipeline. Let's say that the, someone wants to contribute to the code base and improve the source code. Build pipelines are available, internet based. Every commits that you're putting will automatically build through our infrastructure that ASF has put together. All the com communication and the decision making, the mentorship, entire collaboration handle through mailing list. And we have this superpower. All these discussions are preserved and archived. So if we run into the repeated uh, questions, we can always refer, refer back what we discussed earlier. For example, a new bee. We encourage when you do the, the community de development for the newbies, if you run into any problems of a one community software, first search on our mail archive. If the simple question has been already answered, try to learn from that. Still, if you have the problem, then write to mailing list. So your contribution become more, more, more meaningful and as a community, we start learning to respect each other's time. And developer mailing list is the same thing. Let's say the given sample code base doesn't work and actually it has a bug. What you can do is that might have already discussed within the developer mailing list. Before shooting an email, shooting an email to the developer mailing list, as a mentor, or as a community leader, what I would recommend is with my experience, did you check on the dev mailing list archive first if that bug has been discussed? And you have this urge and you have this enthusiasm to fix that. And effective contributor, what that person would do actually fix that bug and then Point the all mail, all mail archive which has been discussed, or if we, if that person can find the Jira the bug reporting issue, which if it's already uh, created in our bug tracking system, can link that uh, bug uh, bug number, the ticket number, and then send send a PR to the community through the developer mailing list. That's how the collaboration happened. We respect each other's time, and we there is as we as we under well understood that we are a volunteer based community. There is no must, no should. 
it's all polite to ask, it would be possible. Everyone appreciate everyone effort, everyone respects everyone's time. So we try to use the superpower as effective collaboration and the productive open, openness um, and productive collaboration within our community. This is a well-known community pyramid. If you look at any open source software community, you would see these categories of roles within the community. Into your left side, you see the Apache Software Foundation community. We already discussed some of these roles, except a couple of, uh, we talk about the user. The user is the one, the person that who comes to our project website on the Apache Software Foundation and then download our software and then follow the user guide and try to understand the software. And the contributor is the person that who take a one step forward and decide to start contributing to our software to improve and it could be a bug fix, it could be some documentation improvement and keep sending pull requests or the keep improving our and shaping our uh, product better. Trusted committer, there could be two ways to become a tr trusted committer. If the community has uh, incubated something already and the trusted committers can be nominated initially with the proposal and when you before incubating and the trusted committers can be come through from the uh, community as their de de decision to um, uh, with the records of the, the meritocracy, how much work that you have been consistently uh, contributing to, to make our product better. When the community recognize that person can have, have the access to our original website original software repository, the community will call a vote to nominate that person as a trusted committer. And if there is no negative votes, it's hardly happened the negative votes in a community. If someone raised the negative the negative votes, they have to give the reasons why they are, we are negative about it. So once you have the positive uh, votes aligned for that name, that person become a trusted committer. The community believe that person can directly check in their code base in their repository. It's all be, that all built by the work credibility that you do, we discussed earlier as a meritocracy. Long being contributed to, the, the, to make this soft, Apache software uh, better, that person even can be stronger and more powerful within the community to decide on the project directions. That's called the PMC, Project Management Council. All depends on the work that you do for the community. And if you look at this community, and if you look at your organizational community or your team, you call it team generally, or your squad if you are on Agile, have you recognized these? You have internal developers. Obviously, you have a user community that who are using, actually using your software. It could be the client. The way that they are reporting your bugs would be the production issues. And you have co-developers who own it, who, desi who design it, and who knows better about the quality. Those are the co-developers. And leads and architects, they know the narratives, they know the in and out of it, they know the, the, uh, the business of it a little bit. And the management is the one who takes care of the budget and they know the direction of the software and they're more powerful uh, in, the, in terms of decision making. So you see, a bad, you see a, a, a similarities of your team structure and this is a team structure. Your business is money based, and then you are on within a firewall. That's the different. But all efforts that you get paid, 
So you have a motivation to complete your work and you have your own goal. So when you look at this different role, you would find a similarity of that community pyramid. So when the pandemic happened, what happened? Many school, old school people that who believed we will never be able to work remotely as virtual team, made up their mind to be distributed teams and still continue, continue, continue to work remotely because we didn't have any, any other choice. What we, do, what, what we realize, if you look at Apache Software Foundation has practiced in this for last 21 years on this. We are a distributed, as Apache Software Foundation community, we are a distributed global team and we have the openness. That's how people learn fast about the Apache software. And we do have the community collaboration. That's how we improve as a community. That's how we do the innovation and the right solution for our software. And we have established the quality mentorship as well. We help each other to grow. In Apache software, we call it all boats rise together. And also we understand behind all these Apache we call values, we have put our framework what works for us. In my prior example for that, Apache Kafka community work differently to, to Apache Beams, Beams. Those differences are recognized and accepted. If you look at your community, after pandemic, you mostly became a distributed team. And when you distributed, if one person is holding that knowledge, and if other person wanted to get that knowledge and depending on that, you tried putting a picture together in the, you, you used the online um, tool and then you put a, a picture together if you're do, doing a situation of a, like a pair of programming or if you're brainstorming on that, you're remote, you cannot get into a whiteboard, that you started building the openness. You make it available for the other people and you write a little read me so everyone else can read it. That's called the openness. You're opening your knowledge for us, for, for the other people to, to be productive. And this is called the collaboration. You understand the other people need and you start being cross-functional. You had a lot of one-on-one and you had a lot of pair programmings behind the screen. And you ask for the knowledge from someone else and they make the work around to get you that knowledge. So with the conversations, the people started producing more documentation, being more open about the, the technology approach and put different um, uh, visualized data such as architecture diagram or uh, some unit test cases, um, some readmes and all of that together. And also you hired people. When you hire people, you dedicated a one person to groom them up and bring them up to the speed. This is, that, that is a part of the quality mentorship. We understood as a business, we can go down during this pandemic and we need to put forward this quality mentorship. And we, we understood the value of the mentorship. So we lean to each other. Many school, old school people realize, okay, this is a working system. Some people use the confluence as the documentation uh, to host the documentation so everyone can see that. All the de developer notes that you had in your local has posted on, on, on the inter internet accessible, within the firewall internet accessible documentation in the Google doc or the confluence or some wiki. So we figure out the working methodology for that. Is a one-on-one better to understand the other person's need? So we quickly, um, spin up uh, the uh, Google meeting or a, a Microsoft team meeting or a Zoom call and then hop into that call and make ourselves available. So we figure out our way. That's exactly what the Apache way has been done too. 21 years plus uh, years, actually 20, uh, 21 years before 
the way that they figured out the Apache way is the same way. That's why I call it no one way is an Apache way, but there are some core values that we respect. And all the organization, they found what works for them. We talk about the engineering silos, but what are those engineering silos? When we work collaboratively, when we have a need of to be open, if you're in a big silo of engineering, the transparency is less for the other team and the team A is depending on the team B's knowledge base. And if they can move forward, if a team A is holding that knowledge, you're not going to get done your work. So these are the example of engineering silos. Silos can cause a lot of problems, inefficiencies, and the tech depths, a lot more things. We realize that when the pandemic hit, or oh, we are in this big silo, do we know what the other teams uh, does? That's why we wanted the collaboration. That's why we wanted the openness. And that's why we wanted that one-on-one -on -one Zoom call so we communicate better. And we even open up like forums. So team A, one silo can join on the other discussion. And we, we try to rethinking about our architecture rather than a big, big silo. How do we un unfold this architecture to little uh, modules? So we try to approach the microservice architecture. So these are the well-known issues when you're living in a uh, engineering silo. Doesn't matter if it's a inside team that will work in a one shade or if it's a distributed team. But these all issues are recognized when the pandemic hit, we, when we had to um, operate as a distributed team. So your architecture won't be scalable. It's a big, if you have to do a one little code change, you had to run the full uh, the pipeline for the entire software. That can break many things. So it's so hard, it takes time. And it limits the innovation. You can pull apart and work on that and post it. You cannot do that. You have to do the entire cycle together. And the code quality, when you're in a one silo, you get only those people to look at your code. You don't have a wider op opening. So in Apache way, we have this call, you get more eyeballs into your code and you will be producing a better code. And if you write once, can that be deployable? If, you are in a, if, you, if, you, if your software is a silo, it's not. You need certain uh, tightly coupled component to be deployed together. And you will not have the superpower like mailing list, or you will not have the preserved communication on a confluence like we did during the pandemic. If you look at the culture of behavior, we were not talking from why team A forks to the team B, B, B to A. Uh, it, it's not very organic when you lived in an engineering silo. And like I said, less quality of the code, less, uh, the less quality mentorship. And we didn't have openness either. No one can, uh, from outside of your silo, can fix that problem for you. And we have very, we don't know what's going on the other side of the silo. So we were very limited in our knowledge. If you look at the business, we had the less velocity because if someone were to get ramped up with the product, they have to spend a lot of time on that exploring that silo. So less velocity and the less business collaboration and less business generation out of that. So breaking down engineering silo is a one realization that happens and worked with the, uh, the, the, with the, if you look at the way that we mapped, it's a part of the Apache way as well. It's following the Apache way. That's how we, we, we thought of breaking down the engineering silo. So when you come out from that engineering silo, you know what's happening on the other, uh, 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 in, in the other silos. So only way is like modularize that and then slice it down so people can have an openness within those silo, invite other people for the code reviews and do a lot of one-on-ones and do a lot of brainstorm together and um, uh, find solution to 
more collaborate and preserve your discussion. If you handle a quality mentorship in the GitHub, you can preserve that code review discussion so someone else can use it later. So that way we are not holding the knowledge which required by another uh, team, but we are fixing their problem or they are coming and fixing their requirement on us and we are loving that, um, we are enabling that community collaboration within us. So that's simply following the Apache way. So well-known results are, we will be uh, technically scalable. We will be able to scale horizont horizontally than the vertical. We will drive the innovation. We will write codes and develop in multiple way, multiple locations and multiple times. We will have preserve automatic documentation after a conversation. We put that into a readme and then uh, post a PR. Cultural behavior, better collaboration and the quality code, craftsmanship, we will find quality mentors within us that who can teach what they know to the another person and get up to the speed. That'll make the team's vision, the team goal successful. That'll make that external person's goal successful to get, them, get done that work. We will experience a speedy ramp up time that newbies especially will learn out of our conversation that we preserve and we are fear modularized, they can do simple change and get into the software coding, uh, rather studying and studying and studying, uh, try to unfold the, the, the big silo. If it's a modularized um, setup architecture, then they can uh, quickly learn. And quality mentorship will not only to achieve their own goal and their team goal, they will help the mentee, the newcomers, goal to be success as well. We will find good leaders in the community. We will work as a community rather than a big siloed uh, engineering system. Management will realize we generate well, more velocity because we have a ramp, up, a ramp up time is high and we have leaders who can really work hard and uh, drive this forward. We work on a shared goal and also we make sure that we achieve the individual goals. So we have the better business collaboration. Managers will, will get to know what the other engineering silos were being doing by uh, the, the work transparency that they uh, going to have with the Apache Bay. And we will see more gen business generation. So those are the good results of following Apache Bay that our realization of last whole year and a little bit of how we worked as the, the, the as a distributed team or distributed as codes or distributed community rather than a business that was set on a one shade. I would be really happy to uh, hear a few questions from you and um, that's time for questions. Other than that, thank you so much for being a part of today's talk.